All right, the next question, how do I find sponsors? You're like, Damon, like, okay. You know, I need the passive income or I need the active income. I need to get, get the thing going. So what's, what's happening? What am I doing? With sponsorship, it's pretty much like any other thing. If you've, um, I've done two startups, I sold my last startup. So if you're familiar with like the startup world, then you've heard of cold intros, warm intros, those things. If you're familiar with like investments, stuff like that, you heard of this thing. If you worked in sales, you know these things. It's not any different. It's not any different. There's three ways I've found that you can connect with, with sponsors. The first one is the cold. When about a year ago, I went from about a thousand subscribers or a thousand of y'all subscribing to within a month, I had about 11,000 of y'all subscribing. So within a month, I had to get about 10,000 more of y'all, <laughs> not to mention views, but 10,000 more of y'all subscribing, which was amazing. Again, I still get emotional about it because I've been like making the, sh the show for two years and it was very, very modest, even though I'm, I was glad I was contributing. And then suddenly it opened it up to the world. Shortly after that happened, I started getting these cold emails and it was like, oh, you have five figures worth of subscribers. What about this product? What about this service? Have you thought about adding this to your show? It was a vibe. I'm sharing this because I want to kind of pull behind the curtain and be like, if you haven't been in that position, if you create, chances are if you keep creating, you're going to be in some type of position similar to what I dealt with. And it might be on a smaller scale, it might be in a gigantic scale, but all of us as creators in some form are dealing with this. What you have to kind of look at is say, these cold emails are super flattering. Cold means that you have no connection. You have no idea who they are, what the organization is. You might be familiar with the brand, but it's not like they were on your radar like that. It wasn't like, oh, I want them to sponsor my, my program or my post. They weren't, you weren't thinking about them. That's what cold means. Cold also means the reverse, where it's like, oh, you know what? That, that particular product, I love that product. I drink a lot of kombucha, as my family can attest to. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like I got like, you know, a whole whole fridge rack, you know, of kombucha. Like I'm not not lying at all. <laughs> right? I'm actually gonna buy some more kombucha later on today. So I might be they might be my favorite kombucha company. I might be like, you know what? I think they would rock with the bring your word TV audience. I think it's some folks they want to access. I'm gonna drop them an email, whatever, whatever. That's cold. There's no previous connection. So that's one of them. The second one is warm. Warm is you guys are already a little bit familiar with their with them. <laughs> I don't know what that means with, with them and or which is often where it's used. Someone else will connect you to them. So it's like, let's use a kombucha example. It's like, hey, Damon, um, bring worth TV. I'm so glad it's going well. We'll have to catch up and have a drink sometime. Listen, I want to connect you to this kombucha company. They are killing it. They're side hustlers and their stay at home parents, just like you, and I know your journey. Let me connect you two, cause I think, I think there might be a nice synergy there. Maybe you guys can figure something out. That's a warm intro. So either you, someone already being kind of in your circle, like you see them at a conference or something like that, you know, or, you know, you end up coming through and, and, and it's someone that you know is connecting you to, right? So that would be the second one. The third one is, I guess you call it a hot intro where y'all already know each other. And so I know a lot of folks that are building their businesses, that are doing their startups and all that. And I've already been in their ear where I'm like, hey, the show is growing. I already know and love your product. When you're ready to do a sponsorship thing or we can do a bartering or whatever, you let me know. Like, but already having those conversations because they're already in your circle. So it's the cold one where someone just sends you an email or reaches out to you and you don't know who they are about their brand, but they want to work with you, vice versa, where it's a brand that you wouldn't really want to work with and you end up sending them a message and you want to talk with them. That's cold. There's a warm where you're either introduced by a mutual party, like it might be a good friend of yours who actually knows them, they end up connecting you to, and or you guys are sort of in the same circle and you're more like acquaintances, so you're kind of familiar with the product. And of course, there's the hot intro, hot connection where you guys are already in the same circle and you're just prompting or they're just prompting the idea of doing a sponsorship. Obviously, the closer you get to hot, <laughs> the easier it's going to be. 
because some of those folks that were reaching out to me when you know when I had the big subscriber for growth a year ago it, it kind of fit but I was like eh, okay I'll look at the material but I don't know if that's quite quite right for the audience and vice versa to be honest where it was somewhere I was like oh you guys are great for audience and they're like eh, you know and then I'm not working out and they're like yeah that's okay it's like, all right you know and so the closer you can get to that warm that heat that that hot intro <laughs> i'm killing it with the words today the closer you can get to the hot intro the better right and i think it kind of that kind of helps the vibe with that all right so if we want some resources to help you with this again shout out to caitlin again because i actually learned about this through her it's called passion fruit let me go ahead and, and pull this bad boy up what passion fruit is let me go and get it good get it good <laughs> oh man share the screen yes please all right you guys see that all right let me know if you guys see any issues with that passion fruit double o really important otherwise you end up getting the old drake song or you end up getting a bunch of fruits and vegetables it's <laughs> passion f-r-o-o-t dot me where creators do brand deals oh man i'm really enjoying this so much it's a lot of fun one of the things that i like about the passion fruit setup is that it allows you to um it allows you to um, to connect with with audiences or with let me reverse that as Willy Wonka said, flip it and reverse it. It allows you to connect with brands in such an easy way. And not just from the affiliate standpoint, but actual sponsorship deals. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pull up my own right here. Just give me a moment here. So I can feel the, the rust starting to come off of my, uh, <laughs> off of my, off of my YouTube time. Uh, give me one moment. But passion fruit is super cool. And uh, because it gives you the opportunity to not just, again, do the affiliate deals, but to do the, um, but to actually do the sponsorship deals. So this is kind of like a deeper level. And in a sense, passion fruit, this is how it ties in. Passion fruit becomes the company or the, the thing that's giving you the warm introduction. So I'll just show you mine. I realize that's the best way to do it. You guys see that? There we go. All right, yes, we use cookies, got you. All right, <laughs> so this is my passion fruit store. I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, throw the link in here. Flash up opportunities. I'll have a meta moment. No Mark Zuckerberg. All right, so, oh, sorry about the gap there, but you guys, you guys will see what's happening. This is my passion fruit storefront. They call it a storefront. I don't like that term, but you know, we'll rock with what they're calling it. So I set this up. It took me maybe an hour. And it has my picture, has my mug on there, has my various links. Of course, if you want to get really meta about it, that's a link to the YouTube channel that you're watching right now. My TikTok, my newsletter, joindamon.me, and of course my LinkedIn. Shout out to the LinkedIn family, I hope you guys are doing well. Breaks it down. I'm Damon. I help side hustlers, solopreneurs, other non-traditional entrepreneurs like yourself bloom. As a best-selling author, two-time startup founder, and four-time TED Talker, I co-founded the popular connection app Cuddler and led it to acquisition within a year while being a stay-at-home dad with my infant son. That infant son is about to turn 11, so that tells you <laughs> how long this journey has been. But that's my bio, and it breaks down super simple. And then there's two opportunities is Bring Your Worth TV, which you're watching right now. And I go ahead and, you know, same bio. And I have my stats, which I don't mind showing my stats. So there's the vibe. So there's more than 18,000 of y'all, but I want to have a nice flat number. 80,000 subscribers, 120,000 um, impressions over the last uh, month or so. Again, I had slowed down on the video, so that's why it's a little bit lower. It's usually quite a bit higher. The amount of views, the average video duration, the top countries, US, which is where I'm based, shout out to Vegas here. The UK, we're just in England, shout out to, to London folks. Canada, shout out to Vancouver. 
and my folks that are traveling right now and Australia. And there's different ways to work together. You can do a shout out, which I was just talking about earlier, 30 second shout out within a video. There's a dedicated video where the whole video is about a particular product or service. Or shout out times three, which ends up being the package. And the newsletter. And this is a breakdown for my newsletter. Every Wednesday, the amount of subscribers, the open rate, the biggest um, areas, which is US, UK, and Canada, click through rate, clicks per, per campaign. And if you want to do a sponsored new newsletter or if you do three sponsored newsletters. And then you want to collaborate with me, get in touch, you press the button, that's it. I end up joining Passion Fruit. Again, shout out to Caitlin. I learned about it from her about two weeks ago. I joined, I think that day. <laughs> I'm pretty intense, or I was like, oh no, this direction. I joined that day. And I've already gotten a couple of requests, probably going to be working with some of y'all. Some of y'all might be watching right now. You already dropped me a line. I didn't even have, like, this is the first time I'm saying, hey, I have a passion fruit account come through. This is the first time I'm announcing it. Folks are already coming through. What this does is it allows you to have a particular type of energy or have a particular type of vibe. And then for brands, for companies, for organizations to say, oh yeah, I want to work with Damon. Traditionally, with sponsorships, at least passion fruit is relatively new. I want to say over the past year. Traditionally, with these types of setups, like, and I can just go back to again when I saw the tremendous show growth a year ago. It was just emailing back and forth and setting up calendar appointments. Shout out to Calendly, you know, but <laughs> setting up calendar appointments and just it was like meetings. You know what I'm saying? And emails and threads of emails and back and forth. It's like, well, if we price it this way, this, uh, uh. and it's just like, why don't we just simplify it? This is the platform. And for a lot of the brands and there's, looks like it's a few hundred that are actually looking for sponsorships or places to sponsor. For those brands, some of them already say, okay, this is what our budget is. If you want to rock with it, come through. So it's a level of transparency that we're able to do. Um, I actually don't have my prices on there because I like to negotiate each one, <laughs> even though I'm just complaining about it. But I like to negotiate each one because it's based on budget and audience and all that stuff. And, you know, if a major car company wants to sponsor Bring Your Worth, it's not going to be the same as, you know, if you have a startup and you want to sponsor Bring Your Worth, like it's not, to me, the flat fee doesn't make much sense. But for other folks, it makes sense to put the rate up there and all that stuff. So go ahead and set it up. I actually have a link affiliate. <laughs> But as you can see, as you can see, I'm a user. So it's like, um, you know, I'm, I'm not only a client, but I'm a, I'm a club president, you know, when it comes to that. So I'm actually am, am using Passion Fruit. I'm excited about it. And uh, if you want to go ahead and check it out, that's my link right there. I think there's some type of bonus that happens if you use the link. I don't know, but you know, go in, check it out, see what's happening. On that note, one of my favorite, 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 episodes of the past year is actually a three chapter episode. I want to say it's about 20 minutes long, worth your time. Why you aren't charging enough. Um, as I said, I'm a, I'm a business coach, particularly again, the side hustler, solopreneurs, other non-traditional entrepreneurs. And what I found is that we're hesitant to actually charge what we're worth. Now, for instance, for Bring Your Worth TV, this is, this is free to you. If you're paying for it, please tell me because somebody, somebody's robbing you. So this is free to you, right? But my books aren't free. And if we want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, DaveBrown.net, that's definitely not free. I do some pro bono work and, you know, I work with some nonprofits and everything, but that's separate, you know, than my business business and how I'm able to you know, actually afford to have, have these clothes on and, and feed my growing family, growing as far as height, right? If you're gonna be in the game, paraphrasing Seth Godin, if you're gonna be in the game, you need to charge enough to actually stay in the game. If you end up going for the lowest common denominator, not as far as who you serve, but how much you charge, chances are you're gonna be at a race to the bottom. If I had a big, you know, billboard on the, I'm about 15 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, and if I had a big billboard in the Las Vegas Strip, you know, al along with the lawyers. If, you, if you've been to Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. Next to like the lawyer signs and all that stuff, as well as the gambling signs. And I said, hey, Damon Brown, local. I don't know why I did that. Local, 
and I'm the cheapest business coach in town. Come see me. I might have people come into my office unexpected. I might start getting phone calls. I know I start getting phone calls, DMs on the social media platforms and all that. But would I be able to make a living? Probably not. Because it doesn't make any sense. And that's the road to burnout. This matches with this whole discussion because sometimes we have a level of guilt or confusing or, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of capitalism. So, you know, it's like we feel, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to, I don't want to make money on the community that I'm building, which I respect. If you sharing a particular product or service or showing up fully for that community is your intention, then you need to find a way to make sure that you can make a living. I wouldn't be able to help you if I was broke. I just couldn't. I couldn't, like, like quite literally. I'd be trying to, you know, get unemployment um, or, you know, scrape up food for my family. Like, it, there's nothing, I, I've, I've, I've been the broke artist. There's nothing romantic about it. No shame if you are a broke artist. It might just be the phase you're in. I've had a few of those phases actually talk about it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to advertise it, I swear. But particularly in the Bring Your Worth book, the original one, which I think is over here, but it's in, in the complete Bring Your Worth. In this book, I talk about that period of time I was in, and it wasn't super long ago. So, you know, no shame in that. But you don't have to stay there. Your authenticity isn't measured by how broke you are or how hard you have to work as an artist. It's not measured by that. It's measured, I would argue, by how much of an impact you make. And so you can make a good living, even a great living, and also still be contributing to your community. In fact, I would argue, I wasn't able to do this kind of show until recent years because my money wasn't at that level where I could spend an hour or two with y'all and then several hours behind the scenes curating the show and just do it for free. Sponsorships are coming in, but you know, this has come from a place of love. But that love can only be expressed because I was able to pay my bills. Big discussion. As you can tell, I'm going on a big rant on it. <laughs> Some of y'all that have coached with me, we've had this conversation. It's so important as creators, we get out of that mentality that we have to be broke. We actually don't. And in fact, in some ways, by us finding a way to make a decent living, we're able to contribute more. These 371 episodes didn't just magically happen. I actually had the financial and the mental space, even the emotional space, to contribute to y'all. Why you aren't charged enough, please watch that one. Really important. On that heavy note, <laughs> you're watching Bring Your Worth TV every Wednesday at 1 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time. Playing with the schedule, we'll see what happens. Right now, Wednesday's lives is the vibe. Entrepreneurial coach to side hustle solopreneurs, otherwise not just entrepreneurs. You subscribe for free and you can get the complete Bring Your Worth collection wherever books are sold, including DaveBrown.net, or you can listen right now to the entire series. I would say it's about eight hours long. Yeah. Good value here. Please take advantage of it. And if you enjoy it, throw a comment, you know, on the on the video that it's on. Today we're talking about how to get sponsors. The lines are open. Feel free to jump in and give your 